What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about performing special exercises in the gym and looking like a moron. Cause let's be honest, a lot of the movements that I recommend, it looks pretty damn stupid. For instance, the neck curl. Everybody likes to make jokes that it looks like blowjob resistance training, right? Or a floor press. You know, a lot of people are not too familiar with a guy bench pressing on the floor. Or the Z press where you're sitting down, legs spread apart, pressing off low pins at the throat level. Might look a bit awkward. Or how about the bands that I make you do? Reverse band deadlift, reverse band bench press, all this bullshit. So many guys, they don't want to do these exercises because it looks ridiculous, at least through the modern gym rap. So today I want to teach you, not really teach, but I want to get you out of that mindset that you have to care what these other individuals say. And let me bring you to an excellent example, something that happened to me yesterday. This was seen on camera. So I performed the full body training session in which I did glute ham raises with bands. Now, in the background, you will clearly see a man with a blue shirt who does not look like he lives laughing at me. You can see he's fucking laughing at me while I'm doing the glute ham raise. And then he proceeds to spot his friend who's doing a 135 pound bench press, struggling to even get 10 reps, using terrible form and requiring a spot. So these are the types of people who are judging you. We're not, we not talking about uh, strength and conditioning professionals, athletes, uh, you know, actually people who lift a lot of weight. We're talking about fucking gym rats, gym noobs who are going to judge your ass. So let me ask you something. Why would you care what these people think of you? You think I give a fuck about what a guy thinks when he can only bench 135? Are you kidding me, bro? If I take 135, I can bench that shit over 50 reps without a problem. Hell, I can bench 315 for reps. And reps meaning above five. That's what I classify as reps. So why would you care about what some skinny guy or what some fat guy thinks about you when these exercises work? The neck curl, for instance. Why do you give a fuck if it looks like blowjob resistance training? Oh, yeah, thick sucking abilities. You're proving that. Uh, who cares? Who cares, man? The fact of the matter is the neck curl will thicken your neck to above 18 inches. My neck is over 18 inches. It's like 18.5 now. I'm trying to get it to 19. It's because I train my neck. I do neck curls, neck side extensions. I, I even go in the gym. I take a band. I shut up my fucking mouth. And I do this shit. You know? <laughs> for those of you who have uh, naturally enhanced, you've seen the shit that I talk about. You don't have to care about what these people think of you. The fact that matters is this, the biological law of accommodation exists and there's two ways of combating it. Either you rotate the exercise or you change the parameters, meaning sets and reps. Personally, I like to rotate exercise and I like to use everything available. I don't care what I look like because I know for a fact that these movements work. If it works, why aren't you gonna do it? For example, let's say I'll give you another exercise that's very rare to see, a trap bar overhead press. You might look pretty damn weird performing that exercise, right? But it works. What about push presses with bands? Again, not something too common that you see, but you really have to use every tool available. Rack pull above the knee looks fucking stupid. Looks like an eagle lift. And maybe it is to a certain extent, but you have to agree that it does hypertrophy upper back. So the point of this video is this. Just because an exercise looks stupid doesn't mean you shouldn't perform it. Because some of the most ridiculous looking exercises are probably the best. Like the Z press, in my opinion, is probably the best overhead pressing variation out there. And it was created by a strong man competitor who can overhead press over 500 pounds. So are you going to listen to the strongman guy who could overpress over 500 or the gym rat who's doing his little dumbbell presses with pink fucking dumbbells because he's a goddamn noob? Listen to the strong guys. Even Louis Simmons, Louis Simmons from Westside Barbell, he's criticized for doing a lot of weird looking exercises, yet we know that it works. For example, he'll grab the lat pull down and he'll, you know, he'll do it to the sides to work his obliques. It looks kind of stupid, but it works. Or he'll take a medicine ball, he'll put it on a pull-up machine and he'll press down, he'll do push downs that way. It works. All these exercises work. Even the, the new machine that he developed, the rate of force development machine, it looks fucking stupid, but it works. So who cares what these people think? If it works, it works. End of discussion. And by the way, if you're skinny now, in a couple months from now, once you're more jacked up and you're strong, these same individuals who criticize you will now be coming up to you for advice because I know that this is what happened to me. When I was skinny, doing the full body workouts, high volume, and all that bullshit, people were coming up to me saying, you know, Full body is not really the best way to train. Actually, people used to tell that to my face, saying that full body was not a good way to train. And then a year later, I, I kid you not, a year later, these same people will come up to me and ask me for advice. I shit you fucking not. The same people. So that goes to show you right there. People, they're, they don't know what they're talking about. They're going to judge you. But then once they see you made the gains, once they see you transform, then they're going to be coming up to you for advice. And at that point, and at that point, you have two things that you can do. One. You either reciprocate the desires and interests so you can give them advice, or two, you tell them to go fuck yourself, I'm stronger than you bitch, and I'm going to make the gains that I deserve. So, talk to you later. And that's really all there is to it. So don't care about what people think of you. It's all about you making your gains. If it looks stupid, it looks stupid. Big goddamn deal. The results are there to prove it. So hope this video helps you out. Give me some feedback down below. 
What exercises have people criticized you for performing? And with that, I will talk to you next time.